Hello Ross. Hello Mike. How are you? Good to see you. Nice to see you. Right, so we are on the global stand, London Build, yeah. 2022. Where's, where's this year gone? So that's my first question. Well, it's flown by for a start. But where is it? Where is it? This is what we want to know. Where's it gone? What, what do you mean? What, where, what? Where's the year gone? Oh, yeah, I've stood here a year ago talking to you. It felt like last week. Yeah, good point, yeah. Yeah, it's been a really, really busy year, I think, so yeah. for everyone. So in the year, what do you think was the... What, what do you think for you guys you've achieved? What was the biggest achievement for you? I think from, from my perspective, in the technical side of Global, running the, the consultancy, we've seen that actually some of our clients are really becoming more engaged more and more yeah. in what we're actually delivering. And we're seeing a cultural shift and a change in attitude. So it's making our job easier for a start. Uh, but we're just getting more and more uh, projects, more and more clients, and it's just it's just fabulous time to be working in fire safety. And London Bill's a bit different because we tend to get a bit of a different demographic of people coming to see it. So we're, we're in Olympia, so we've got some Victorian <laughs> ironmongery yeah. hanging over our heads at the moment. Um, and we're here for two days, so it's a slightly sh shorter show. Our feet tend not to be quite as shredded as they normally are. Um, and I think for us, we, we, we come and come with you guys because it's about that early engagement because we do tend to have more architects, engineers visit because it's probably two or three stops away on the tube and they can come for a morning or an afternoon. It's, it's not yeah. a big effort for them. Um, but in terms of... Uh, what we're going to talk about so where we stand now which is the uh, what are we 16th is it 16th of November yeah, yeah. so that's uh, everybody watching it's 16th of November uh, day one um, next week is the ASFP awards yes which right. of course we've completely oversubscribed with again and we're desperately trying to find bigger venues so we can get everybody in but global are up for two awards you're nominated for two awards so if my memory serves me correctly because I've just been repeating it in my head <laughs> so we've got Adam Khan who's up for Rising Star that's right and uh, Global are up for Innovation of the Year yeah. so Innovation of the Year is, a, is effectively a product or system uh, that's been developed since the last awards uh, and, uh, and you know, for the betterment of, of the pacifier industry. So, do you want to give us a quick sort of run through what your innovation nomination was for? Ob obviously, we're delighted to be nominated for a start, isn't it? And, and we've got a great relationship with SFP, and we yeah. we continue to enjoy that. Well, we, as, as, you, as we can see, Max, if you hold still, Max, we can see that the Global proudly present their ASFP member card, and it's always on their trade stand. In, in it's actually hiding their coffee cups <laughs> by, the, by the looks of it. Uh, yeah. So. <laughs> so so um, and we've even co-located with him, Mike, haven't we? You have, yes, and you're, you're, they're, they're, you're stand stalking us. Uh, I think it's probably the, the way to do. It. So, um, but yeah, so, we won the award on innovation last year. Yeah, you did. Here, so you did. That was fantastic for us as a business because it really sort of cemented what our vision was around fire safety. Yeah. Using that golden thread. So projecting forward into this year, we've created a door set called Ceasefire Door Set. Yeah. And an FD thirty S door set that we've 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 tested to death I think 54 tests I think it is yeah uh, and we're, we're sort of putting that into the market but our sales picture of this is we've got NFC tracking we've got live video of the design manufacture and install so we're using plan radar for that yeah and what we're trying to do is give our clients uh, real-time tangible evidence really that the door is in a good in a good position when it leaves the factory, and it and it and it'll, it'll work to what it's uh, it's expected to when it's installed. Yeah, so I think um, Andrew Cooper was explaining. You use a small nail that's got a, a chip in it, similar to uh, uh, something something you would uh, use on a dog tag. Thing. And lo and behold, uh, as this, if by magic, as if by magic, it's not, it's not Blue Peter. This isn't it? It's amazing. Um, so that's that. And in there is a silicon chip. When the door gets installed, that gets nailed into the door, and somebody comes along with a scanner afterwards, and it tells all about the door, who installed it, what the specification of it is, so that you can actually manage uh, the compliance of that door through its uh, through its life cycle. Absolute genius. Brilliant. That's a brilliant idea. Love we that. hope you all agree and we win yeah. the award. I know. My wife would quite happily have one of those put somewhere about my person, I'm sure. <laughs> um, so Let's keep a track of it. Yeah. <laughs> so, and then we've got Rising Star, who's Adam. Just just tell us a little bit about Adam and, and, and what he's done at, uh, at, at Global. Well, well, I mean, Ad Adam's a fabulous employee. He, he, uh, it, there's, there's nothing 
nothing he won't he won't turn his hand to. He's a he's, he's definitely a star in the making. We nominated Adam because the sort of, not 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 so much confusion, but the Paz Double Nine Eight Zero is quite a sort of convoluted document. Yeah. And to understand it to fit within Global with our fire engineering team, we needed to sort of create something that works well with us. So Adam's created that. He's done his level five diploma in fire engineering. Or it, it's, to, it's to be completed, but he's currently doing that as well. And uh, yeah, he just he just embodies everything that really is about for us. Why we, we nominated him is because he's just so passionate. Yeah, and you'll see that if you meet the guy. He's, yeah. he's, he, and he's, he's sort of so engaging, working with clients all the time. Anything they need, he's, he's the sort of guy that we're delighted to have working for us. Put it that way. And of course, the shortlist is normally three, but actually the, the total number of applications to even get on the shortlist exactly is yeah. an achievement itself. Exactly. Now, just between you and me, I'm not part of the judging panel, <laughs> right? And I have to do that. So these chocolates won't. No, they won't no, right. The reason why I don't do it is because when I come and talk to you guys, I'm completely independent, so yeah. I don't get I don't get sort of yeah, emotionally and verbally beaten up by people going, well, why didn't you know, why didn't we win this or why didn't no, we win yeah, that? Of course. But we do have a, a broad cross section of um, uh, judging panels, and these are people actually from non-members. They are professional body people. They are you know. So we we have a broad cross section of people that. that that judge these and actually at the moment as I stand here I don't know who the winners are uh, and the reason for that is is that a couple of pints in at the bar in the hotel tend, tend to, I'm, I'm a liability so <laughs> so I do, they don't tell loose me loose lips and all. absolutely yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. so uh, best of luck with two, uh, two nominations in itself is brilliant best of yeah. luck with both of those uh, you're coming to Birmingham next week uh, Yes, we are. Oh, there yeah. you are, yeah. yeah. Um, so, uh, and Birmingham's nice. It makes a nice change from London. Uh, Manchester, obviously, was last year. So, all the best of that. Thanks for having a quick chat. Um, if you're coming to London Build, because, of course, we normally push this out on the day, so you'll have another day to come uh, with it being Thursday, uh, come and see the guys from Global. Um, from, from, a, from an ASFP TV point of view, Max, uh, and he'll nod his camera in agreement, we always come to Global because they've always got something new to, and interesting to talk about. Uh, 